So, I just want to let everybody know that I have been interested in the drone world for quite some time now, and I finally convinced my wonderful, beautiful wife to let me get a drone for my birthday coming up in November. So we did a little bit of research, and the Phantom 3 was a pretty good uh, drone for the money. Uh, it is expensive, but um, it has a lot of features. Um, I'll show it to you right here. It just came in the mail today. Here's the blades. It gives you four blades and two sets of them. These blades right here looks like they just have a black tip on them. And these ones over here um, has the silver or gray tip, you want to call it. Now, I just unboxed it already. Came in pretty good boxing. Pretty nice packaging. Here's a picture of it. The Phantom 3 Advanced. There's two different ones of the Phantom 3. They have the Advanced and the Professional. And um, the only difference in the Professional and Advanced is the camera. This is a 1080p camera. And on the Advanced one, it's a 4K camera. But... Uh, the 1080p is most common because most TVs are 1080p. Um, you have to have a 4K TV or display in order to in order to take advantage of the 4K features of the camera. And I don't, and I don't know anyone that does. So getting the professional one didn't really make any sense because it costed a lot more. Um, here's the charging pack. And I think the battery comes inside of that. I'll show you. Yeah, here's the charger, here's some cables. I think the battery might already be on the drone. But the, yeah, charging cables, and here's a cable to connect the phone or your tablet or whatnot to the controller, and I'll show you the controller in a minute. Now this is kind of interesting because they shipped the drone with um, these silver rings over here and nothing on that side. Th these are to indicate that the, it's the front of the drone. But you can pick, uh, they give you this color. Um, got blue, looks like silver there to match the silver that's already on it. Uh, red and like a pink or purple or something over there. So you can take these and you can decorate it. You can put the uh, stickers and put these things around there just like that. But there's the drone. There's the drone, uh, DJI Phantom 3 Advanced with the 1080p camera. It's got the four rotors. Uh, they also call them quadcopters, but it feels pretty durable. It's actually pretty heavy. And you got the camera underneath of there, and it actually rotates on a gimbal. Um, so you have the up and down rotation, and then the side to side rotation. So that way when the drone um, maneuvers, that way when the drone like maneuvers and stuff, your camera will stay kind of where it is instead of swerving all over the place. Yeah, the floor's kind of dirty. But it's actually pretty big. They give you a nice case for all your blades to go into. And I'll get to the remote right here in a minute. This remote's pretty heavy. There's the remote that they give you. Now this little button right here, it's called the return to home button and for beginners or people that are kind of iffy about landing and stuff this thing on their own if you push this button while you're in flight the drone will automatically return to its home destination and it remembers because it has GPS on it it remembers the last place that it actually took off from so wherever it took off from when you started flying it will take the drone automatically back to that location all by itself with the push of that button and the uh, return to home fu function also kicks in if the drone is like beyond its um, range capabilities like if it loses connection with the remote it automatically kicks in and returns to home by itself so you don't lose it um, that's a great feature to have and the professional also has that but this thing right here this is to mount your phone or your tablet onto because uh, that camera will stream live video while you're flying right to your tablet or phone or whatnot so you don't have to be in range of sight for your device for the phantom to be flying in order to see what's going on so i could be sitting here in my living room flying this thing around the neighborhood and see the screen from the camera right here on this oh, this is a pretty heavy remote actually 
you got your uh, range antennas right there and let me let you know that this thing this thing can fly up to 1.2 miles away from me um, and um, still be streaming live video from 1.2 miles away that's pretty good distance so these big antennas make that capable um, they already have some packaging on this thing. Let me set this phone down so you guys can see. They have some packaging on this. That I'm going to go ahead and remove. They package it pretty well. And there's a lot of features on this remote, actually. You got power buttons. You got these joysticks over here. Um, they're really smooth, actually. They just they feel really well designed, really well good quality nice nicely made and if you look closely at them they have like these little spiky things on the ends so that way like your fingers don't slip off and you get good traction and at the end down here I'm not sure what these buttons do but they might have to do with the camera um, playing you can there's a record button here you can push to start recording um, and it records in 1080p but it sends live video feed to your device at 720p. So, I mean, it's not the greatest live video, but it's enough to see what's going on. So, I'm really excited, actually, to see this thing and get the feel of it. First flight. And I'm going to be uploading all my videos that I take with this thing to my YouTube channel that I'll post links to on Facebook so everyone can see my beautiful city that I live in. And I'll probably try to take it up and get videos of campus, some of the buildings up there, if I don't get in trouble. Um, let's see here. Man, they actually put wrapping on this thing. They don't mess around. This remote is really, really big. I'm quite excited, I must say. I've been waiting for this to come in the mail for some time now. Um, when it got shipped out, the manufacturer, or the shipping facility that sent it to us, they actually sent us the wrong, uh, the wrong tracking number. They sent us a number on the box that wasn't even a tracking number, so we couldn't track it. And if you see here, this can accommodate quite large devices. You got, you know, the standard for like a small iPhone or something. If you push this button here, it extends out so you can, I think it's big enough to actually put a tablet in maybe, like sideways. Um, I can definitely fit my big phone in there so I can see what's going on when I'm flying. But, yep, it's got a little tripod thing on the back so you can set it down and it doesn't lay all the way on the floor. Alright. So let's see. It says please match the nut color with the motor axis color. Ah. So it wants you to alternate. If you see the difference here the nut axis color right here is like a gray. The one over here is the black. So I think that the black goes on black and the gray will go on the gray. If I'm not mistaken. And they uh they got some plastic over this, so I'll have to take that off here for here in a second. So I'll go ahead and set this back down. These blades actually seem pretty durable. They're pretty big too. So I mean, but this isn't this, you know your standard toy that you pick up from the store for somebody like a kid's birthday present. This is a, this is definitely an adult drone, an adult toy that you would buy for somebody that's kind of techy and geeky like me. So there's a reason that they have a hefty price tag on them because they're really good quality. Uh, 
got the packaging on, off on that. So I guess you're supposed to just set it on there and spin it all the way down. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and do that to this one and this one. And they have uh, nice containers you can buy for these, or uh, hard shell like carrying bags that you can put these in, and that's what that case is for for your uh, blades. Because when you put it in your hard shell case or your carrying bag or whatever you buy for this, uh, you, I think you want to take these blades off every time so that way they don't get damaged. But I got one rotor on there. I'll go ahead and set this down again, and I'll get my other rotors on. Sorry about that. So this one's black. Probably go ahead and speed through some of this stuff when I edit the video before I upload it so that way uh, you guys don't have to sit here and watch nothing happen. Because I know this takes for a little bit. No one wants to sit around and watch me do nothing. Time is money, right? Alright, I got this one off. So I go ahead, put that one on, give it a nice spin. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around this way so I can get this one on. Show you the battery in a minute. They do have it on the drone. Um, there's a sticker over there that tells you how to take it off and uh, what to do with it. And these batteries, you can get extra battery packs, but I think they take about an hour to charge or so. Oops, sorry. And I heard you have about I don't know, depending on how where you fly or how hard you fly or. I'll charge your battery is I guess from start to finish you'll have about uh, 28 minutes or so of fly time which isn't too bad I mean considering this thing is pretty heavy actually for something that's going to be flying in the air I'm thinking I have a paper that I'm going to be doing for for class and I've been thinking about doing it on drones because Drones are becoming more readily available to the average consumer, I mean, that has a wallet. <laughs> and um, the thing is, is they're still so new that there's not a lot of rules and stuff like that that establish like what drone users can do with their drones. And uh, laws, I mean, not rules, laws. But, um... They're still being implemented right now as we speak. And there's a lot of ethical dilemmas that can go into, like, drone flights and people spying on people and, you know, neighbors that might feel unsecure with their neighbors flying around their neighborhood with drones. And so I think it will be a good topic to discuss on this paper, considering I just got my own drone. And they give you some manuals here. Um... It's a quick start guide, kind of tells you how to get this thing up and going, tells you what's in the box, um, the battery, all about the battery, and then you have your safety guidelines and disclaimers, of course, every product manufacturer is going to have this with anything, but I don't normally look over this, I'll probably look over this quick start guide, since I've never had a drone before. Alright, I think I'm going to do I think I'm gonna do the red for the stripes because I kinda like the red color. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my mess here and put these other blades back in the little case that they give you just to keep it nice and clean. 
I have OCD when it comes to this stuff. I like to keep things picked up and organized. All right. So I guess you're supposed to just take these stickers and place them on the drum however you want. Yeah, each one of these rotors, the blades lock on there a different way. Didn't know if you guys seen that or not, but this one spins this way. This one spins this way. I guess it has to do with um, they each spin a different way because when it flies, these things automatically change like their speed and everything on their own when they when it you know when you go up down and change directions. Um, it's designed and built to automatically adjust and so I think these things might spin differently. Oh, there's the battery right there. Give it a nice look. See if I can remove the battery. All right, here we go. So this is a 15.2 volt, 4,480 uh, milliamps an hour, or 68 watts an hour. Um, intelligent flight battery. It's a high performance. Tells you the model number right there. You can't see it very well. It's kind of blurry. There we go. Um, it's pretty heavy. It tells you right here. Turn on the power. Press the circular button once to require 2A. Require power on B. Current check current battery capacity. Blah, 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 blah. Turn off the power and then to recharge. It's actually pretty nice. It gives you to turn on. Press once, then press and hold for two seconds. To turn off, press once, then press and hold for two seconds. I think that these lights right here indicate the amount of charge that it has. So let's go ahead and see what this thing does. If we press and hold it like it says, I think I'll probably have to stick it back in the drone though. That's very blurry. There we go. Slides right in. If it goes in too hard, you probably have an issue. So press once and press and hold for two seconds. So it comes. Whoa! That is awesome. It comes with a half a battery already. And if you look, this camera here, I was telling you about the camera, rotates on the gimbal. So watch this. See how it stays center, even if the drone is tilted? That's so the camera gets good quality footage without being shaky and all over the place. And you know, you got your cool little under strobe lights and everything that it kind of gives you. It's actually pretty sweet. Let's see what this remote button over here does. I'm not sure how to turn that on yet. So I'm going to come over here to the quick start guide and look and see what it says. So give me just a second, would you? Um, let's see. So that's pretty neat though, it gives you all these, uh, all this information about, you know, your drone and I'm not sure how to turn it on, if you just push the power button or you hold it or what. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And when I find out what I'm doing and I do my first test flight, I'll fire this camera back up and I'll record and let you see it. Peace out.